Claire Morgan and I'm a printmaker based in Derby. I create lino cuts at the moment and I've been creating them using portraiture, working in uh, multi-layer plates with colour. I'm fascinated by portraiture. I love the fact that we can use the human face to tell a story and also that the human face can provide some way of connecting with each other. So when I title the prints I try and make sure that the titles reflect uh, kind of common feelings and emotions. Some of them can act as a reminder to us to pause, to reflect um, or to just have strength in those kind of tough times. So today um, I thought it'd be nice to just take you on a little tour of my workspace. So this is uh, my studio where I create my artworks and it's got a few different sections to it so I'm just going to show you each section and what happens in each part. So this area here is where I do my carving, where I wrap print, sign print. So this area has no ink allowed at all so it can stay nice and clean. As a lino cut printmaker, I work onto a piece of lino. I like this grey hessian back lino because it's quite durable and it carves nice smooth edges. And I carve into this with a different range of tools. Now I use these power grip tools which have... Um, different blades on the end and you have to carve away uh, sections of the lino to create your image. Everything that's carved away will be white and everything that isn't carved away will be inked up during the process. These tools are quite nice for, the, for a lot of the work but actually my favourite tool is this file tool. So this one here is a really fine v-shaped gauge and this one allows me to create really fine intricate uh, marks so it's a little bit more similar to my ink drawings um because i also love doing ink drawing this is an example of a plate that's already been carved so as you can see i've used a bigger tool for some of these just here and a finer tool for some of these marks just here it's not been carved particularly deeply uh, but when it is inked up Everything that's raised will be black and everything that is uh, carved won't have any ink on it and then it gets printed onto the surface of the page. And this image here um, is this image here. So this is just one layer without any colour but you can see all of those lines that have been uh, carved away with the tools. <laughs> This area here is where I keep my tools and inks. This area is where I mix up my inks. Now I mix up uh, my own colours rather than using them straight from the bottles but I do have um, a range of colours to use to mix from. Now I really like using the Caligo Safe Wash inks um, by Cranfield. So these are oil based so they have really beautiful rich colour uh, but they are washable which means that I can clean them up with water. They do take a little bit longer to dry but the richness of the ink is absolutely beautiful. The other thing I use a lot is and that's why it's such a big tub is this. It's um, Caligo Safe Wash Relief Ink Extender. Now this is a clear um, substance that I mix with my inks and it makes my inks more translucent and that the white paper will show through a little bit more. Extender is really useful for when I, when I want to layer up lots of different colours and I want to be able to see the layers underneath and I would like the colours to um, make new colours over the top of each other. So, um, I've got a range of rollers um, and a palette knife for mixing my inks and that all happens here. Now I like to recycle ink so once I have mixed up the colours that I'm using I will keep them in these little plastic tubs and they live just here which means that I can come back to them. And I so this area here is for inking up plates. So when I'm printing in this area I always have a template to hand. That is a device that I can use to make sure that my printing plate is located in the correct place. And then when I line up my paper onto this and place that on the surface, I use something called a baron. So this is a baron. Um, this allows me to print by hand and then 
once I've inked this up and I've used the baron, then I create the image on the other side. The one thing to remember about printmaking that does uh, that can trip you up is that it's always in reverse. So whatever I carve onto a plate will always come out backwards when it's a print, like this um, example here. The rest of the studio is just inspiring books and a bit of organisation. My prints are hang to dry on the ceiling. Are dry from the ceiling. It's really important to look after them correctly so they get stored in tissue paper. And the final thing is to sign the prints and to do that there's always um, this here which is the edition number so this is four out of ten so there's ten versions this is the fourth one that was created the title in the middle um, signature and the date and that is always done in pencil <laughs> My name's John Hoyle and I'm a felt artist. I've always been interested in textiles and started knitting when I was quite a young child. I moved on to spinning and weaving in my twenties. I was introduced to wet felting a number of years ago and was immediately drawn to it as an art form. But it's only really in the last five years that I've had the time to explore this medium. I've attended quite a few workshops and I've met other felters, so I've picked up quite a lot of knowledge that way. But I've learnt a lot by just making and experimenting. Lockdown has been the perfect opportunity for this and I've spent a lot of time playing around. My style has changed a lot over the months. Uh, I still draw my inspiration from the local landscape and nature, but I'm moving away from uh, realistic images to more semi-abstract uh, images. And I'm using a lot more fabric and fiber and uh, also adding stitch to give definition and texture. <laughs> never stop learning new stuff. I always get quite excited when I start a piece because I really don't know what it's going to turn out like. If you would like to see my work it's on my Instagram page Pearl Bag and please message me if you want any details about any of the at works that you see. Thank you very much for watching.